Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And we got this story fresh in today. Okay, I'm gonna drop some money on a oceanside front view mansion, beach mansion that used to be occupied by Cindy Crawford. Yes, we get this article from Out O U T Kick K I C K dot com. They are uh, saying Kim Kardashian dropped seventy million. On Cindy Crawford's old house. Mm -hmm. I'm like, did she have a house in Hidden Hills? That was beachside? Hmm. Was she in a real estate game? Was she want to flip houses or something? But it's a beautiful home. Yes, it is. Beautiful, beautiful home. It's a Malibu home with beautiful views of the Pacific Ocean. The 7,400 square feet home, which used to be owned by Cindy Crawford before she sold it to a hedge fund manager for $45 million four years ago. It is the perfect place to go chasing sunsets. Plus, scumbags would have a hard time infiltrating this compound that is reportedly protected by a massive hedge wall and a towering gate. It's the perfect hideaway for the 41-year-old Kardashian. Kardashian, and she plans her next move for becoming a billionaire to a million, multi-billionaire. Hmm. According to the real estate listing, Kardashian's new place has four bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, all sorts of living space in which reality shows can be shot from multiple angles and doors that open up and allow Kim to suck down the salt water air. Well, that's cool. Before all that kind of money, she didn't need to be 10 bedrooms. But who am I? Who am I? Okay, I'm just on the outside looking in, vicariously living through their lives. Okay, it says, yes, there's a gym to stay fit and a tennis court to hit some poor hands behind or between reality shoots. There's a semi-formal dining space where the Kardashians can eat their avocado toast and listen to the waves crash against the beach. This place really has it all besides a lawn to mow. That's too bad. At 70 million, you'll think the house would have a little bit of space to reconnect with your roots by firing up the Toro and getting a mow in with watching the sun go down on a Thursday night. Okay. And I've gotten you several pictures of the inside and what it looks like. And it seems like Kim is doing the whole thing. But didn't Kanye just buy something too? Buy another house? Are they trying to compete with one another or something? Very, very weird. Very, very weird. But I guess if you wanted exclusivity, this would be the perfect house. Because it seems like there's no other houses in the nearby range where if you were in trouble and you were screaming, nobody would hear you unless they were on the beach itself. But then it would seem that it's a private beach to have all of this uh, tall hedge that's growing around but it's beautiful it is beautiful people but that's all i got i ain't got no more mm -hmm. seem like it should have an elevator as well because that's something all them stairway cases just circling around oh uh -uh, i get this or something but anyway that's me that's not kim she's living her best life with her children and to me, it seems like she want to get back with Kanye. Mm-hmm. That's what I see. But 
what do I know, right? What do I know? But this is a cute little story. Uh, I wanted to just bring to you all to show you how the other half lives, okay? And that one day, if you strive to be in the entertainment field, you could own one of these houses or homes by the beach yourself. All right? That's all I got. I ain't got no more, and I'll see y'all on the next video.